Good morning. So usual routine, the Cetaphil Oil Control Moisturizer and then the Maybelline Master Prime after that. And then I'm trying the new trend, I guess, of putting the powder first, which is I use the Maybelline setting powder. And then the foundation, which is my usual MAC Pro Longwear foundation. I know that this is a tip maybe, just maybe, a bit darker for my skin tone compared to my neck and chest, but with my arms, I guess it's perfectly fine. But then again, there's no in-between shade between NC42 and NC44, so... Oh well. I feel like it is more matte looking. And I'm using the Maybelline Pro Contour or something with an elf blush brush. You know, the usual. Try to put some bronzers in there because I have a really round face. It's Tommy Hilfiger dress and I believe it will cost watch, wristwatch. When I did look it up during the day, it doesn't really make much of a difference, so I'm not going to do this one again. And that is a prolonged wear powder in medium deep with an e.l.f. powder brush, just to set everything in place, again. <laughs> so, you know, I'm not really liking this process, but go ahead and try it if you like, so no big deal. This is my most favorite lipstick, color Mirror, and it's almost done, right? I found kind of a cheap dupe, which is Kate Moss and color 104, but I'm telling you, it's just not the same. The pigment, this one is real, this one is matte, it can dry your lips sometimes if you put too much, or again and again. The Kate Moss is a bit moisturizing, but it's it doesn't have the same color I guess or pigmentation so that's to remove scandalize just to wake up my eyes for a little bit and that is it